Hey everyone, today we're gonna be testing out the Grand Falls pressure washer from Draffy Tools. My brother has the same pressure washer that he's been using down his boat launch to pressure wash his boat. It's an awesome setup down there, guys. He has a boat lift that takes it out of the water and then he uses this to clean the boat off after every trip. And he has it mounted down there on a post and I measured it and knew that it would fit in this hole perfectly. So I was really excited to get this and test it out because this is, I'm really limited on space here of where I can mount it. With my hose bib being here and my door opening here, I was really limited where I can mount it. Really don't have many other options in my garage because it's pretty full right now. The width of this pressure washer from one side to the other from shut off to hose bib is around 22 inches. You may need around at least 24. I would say overall from where I have it mounted to the end here is about 26, 27 inches. So somewhere around 26 inches wide is about what you'll need with this attached hose. Now you could probably get like a 90 degree here if, if you wanted to, to save a little bit more space, but I think this is gonna work perfect for me. Now, what's awesome about this thing right off the bat is that it has a 100 foot self retractable hose reel on it. This is a 2.1 gallon per minute, 2200 PSI pressure washer. As you can see here, really nice and compact, stores your hose really nicely, but let's get into how to mount it real quick and then I'll show you the features of it. After you watch this video, if you think this is right for you and something that you would like to purchase, I'll leave an affiliate link down below to both their website and on Amazon where you could pick one of these up. And if I can get a coupon code for you guys, I'll leave that down below as well. If you use that link, it will be an affiliate link and I will make a small commission at no extra cost to you, but thanks for helping support the channel. So the first step to mounting this Grand Falls pressure washer to the wall is to mount the mounting bracket. Now they do give you a little magnetic level, which will help in leveling this thing up. I'm gonna use my own level just because it's gonna be probably more accurate being across these two. Now they give you wall anchors here that you can drill half inch holes, pound the anchor in and then use these lag bolts. What I'm gonna do is just put two of the lag bolts that they gave me, I added two washers to them. Gonna screw it right into my sill plate here and then I'm gonna use two small tap cons down below to hold the bottom because I don't think it's necessary to use huge anchors like this on all four and that should be plenty to hold this reel. It's not very heavy, pretty nice and light, got it leveled up. I'm gonna go ahead and mark my two holes here and get this thing mounted up. Oh yeah guys, that's strong. Even with just the two lag bolts in there. But I am gonna put the two tap cons in the bottom just to be safe. And if you guys don't have a hammer drill, if you're ever drilling concrete, definitely wanna have a hammer drill and put it on hammer. It makes it a lot easier. And that's it. All right guys, now that I got the mounting bracket installed, this thing mounts really easily, just slides right down on two there. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. I got my plug right here, which is nice. They do give you a nice GFI plug. There's a reset and a test button on there. And with this pressure washer, you do get a five foot lead hose. In my faucet was really close, so it worked out well for me. If you need a shorter or longer one, you would have to purchase that additionally. But it slides right on that bracket, right from the back of the pressure washer here slides on there easily and the gun that they give you has a nice rubber thing here on the gun to hold all your tips you get a 40 degree tip a 25 degree tip 15 degree tip and a zero degree tip that's quick connect into the end of there so the foam cannon stores nicely right here and the gun stores down in here in this hole really nicely so really nice compact system here guys really gives it a clean look. If you have a nice fancy garage, unlike mine, <laughs> this would be really nice in a finished garage. And they do give you an adapter here that has a filter in it. Make sure you install that and install that the correct way before you put this lead hose on and that will eliminate any debris getting into your pump of your pressure washer. Another reason why I wanted this unit is because when it freezes here in the winter time, I can easily just unplug it, pick it up off that bracket and take it down into my heated basement and leave it down there for the winter time. So really nice and easy to be able to slide it on and off that bracket. It really would be nice if you could order additional brackets to move it to different places if you want to, like in the winter time. Not sure if you can or not, 
that's probably definitely something I'm going to look into though. All right, so when you first start this thing up for the first time, before you actually turn it on, you want to make sure you get all the air out of your system. So turn your water on and spray until you get water coming out of here before you actually turn the on switch on because you don't want to run that pump dry to burn anything up. So once you get a good flow of water here, you can go ahead and turn the unit on and it will pressurize up. So you got your on switch on the side here. <laughs> Turn it on and you're ready to go. Now this thing is going to take a few seconds to shut off once you release the trigger. It is automatic. You pull the trigger, it kicks on, you release the trigger and it shuts off. But it will take a little bit of time being that it does have that 100 foot retractable reel and it has to pressure up that whole 100 feet before it shuts off. So now let me show you what's awesome about this thing and that's the 100 foot retractable hose reel. All right, so we have the 100 foot hose out and look how far this thing goes, guys. Way up there in the yard. My son's holding it up there, 100 feet away. And I could pressure wash anything I want back here now. Usually I do my pond once a year and do the patio, back of the house and things like that. And now I don't have to worry about getting hoses out, attaching them to my other pressure washer, and then having to run an extension cord from my outlet to the pressure washer, and then having the hose coming off of that. Always have to move that stuff around. This thing really easily gets you 100 feet and I could pressure wash anything back here now and not have to worry about tripping over all that stuff for a portable pressure washer. And that's why I wanted this Grand Falls pressure washer. And I almost have enough hose to get to my neighbor's house so I could pressure wash his car. Four. and after and you can see over here where i stopped i didn't do this last little bit on the end here works pretty good guys drafty tools All right, so now I want to give you guys a quick tip about winding this thing up. To wind it up easier, you want to shut the unit off with the switch on the side. Then you want to pull the trigger to release the pressure in the hose. Then you want to walk this hose in easily, not letting it go free because it could get all messed up if you do that. So you don't want to just pull it and let it go free. You just want to walk it in gradually and let it retract itself in there. And it will move by itself back and forth as it reels up in and out. There we go, very easily able to wind it back up, saves a lot of time. And make sure when you're using this thing, when you pull it out, make sure the hose doesn't get kinked because it could kink if you have it twisted a few times over, just keep an eye on it. So if you guys liked what you've seen and you'd like to purchase one of these, I'll leave affiliate links down below, like I said, where you guys can find out more information. I think the current pricing on it right now is like around 300 or $320, something like that. But like I said, I'll try to leave coupon codes so you guys can save a few bucks. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment or any questions down below. Please consider subscribing and I will definitely see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Whew.